Your click-through ratio is one of the most important metrics that you always need to be focusing on and looking to improve in your Google Ads campaign. Remembering that your click-through ratio is the percentage of times that your ads are clicked on versus the amount of times that they are shown. And the reason for why your click-through ratio is so important is because having a higher click-through ratio than your competitors means that the Google algorithm is more likely to show your ads versus your competitors' ads because Google knows that there's a much higher chance of them getting paid. And the reason for that is because Google only gets paid when someone clicks on your ads not when they see your ads. And this is one of the best things about Google Ads is that you can outperform your competitors even on a smaller budget. And when you're running Google Ads, you need to always remember this formula. If your competitor is willing to pay $10 per click and they have a click-through ratio of 2%, this means that Google will only get paid $20 for every 100 searches. Versus if you're only prepared to pay $5 per click but have a click-through ratio of 10%, that means that Google actually gets paid $50 per 100 searches. So even though your competitor is willing to pay twice the amount per click, you can outperform and get that number one rank just by having a higher click-through ratio. And that is the reason for why your click-through ratio is so important and why you need to always be focusing on how you can improve your click-through ratio. So in this short teaching video, I wanna take you through a feature which can help you drastically increase your click-through ratio. And this feature is called Dynamic Keyword Insertion, or DKI. But before we get into this quick tutorial, if we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. And this is where I share all of my successful and profitable strategies that I've been using in Google Ads since 2010. So if you'd like to keep up to date with what is working in Google Ads right now, why don't you give my channel a quick subscribe? Thank you so much. Now, as the name suggests, Dynamic keyword insertion is where Google dynamically inserts the keyword that the user used into the headline of your ad copy. So let me show you how this works. So this is an ad where we have the dynamic keyword function active. And what it actually does, if you look at this first headline, whichever ad actually is shown, you can actually see that this headline matches one of the keywords that's in our ad group. So you can see fitness software and fitness software here. And then fitness software app, and we have that keyword in this ad group right here. So what dynamic keyword insertion does is it dynamically inserts the keyword that the user used to trigger your ad and places it into one of the headlines. And the reason for why this is so beneficial for your campaign is because if you look at it from the user's point of view, if they were to search gym management software, they can actually see the ads through here, the first one which is gym management software, and then there's another one down here which says Zen Planner, and then once again, there's another one with gym management software. They are much more likely to actually go through and click on the ad, which actually matches the search term which they used. And you can also see from this example is that because the headline matches the user's search term, Google has actually placed this in the first position versus this second ad, which actually does not mention the exact keyword gym management software in one of the headlines. So not only are you more likely to get the click, but you're also gonna be getting a higher ad rank, which is gonna be increasing the chances of your ad appearing in that number one position because you're matching the user intent. Because remember with Google Ads, it's looking to match ads which match the user search term and then also taking them through to the relevant landing pages. So by using dynamic keyword insertion, you can make sure that your ad will dynamically update so that it's including the keyword search term that the user used. Once again, making it far more likely that your ad is gonna be appearing above your competitors' ads. Now I wanna quickly show you how you can actually use dynamic keyword insertion and how you can also use it with other manual words. Now you can actually use your dynamic keyword insertion on an existing ad. So if you wanted to, you can just go through and click a current ad to edit. Now in this example, this headline currently just says baby earmuffs. But if we wanna use the dynamic keyword insertion, all we need to do is to go to the start of this headline and then type in the squiggly bracket or the brace. And then once you do that, you actually see this option for keyword insertion. And then we just paste in the keyword that we wanna use. Now you do actually have three different options. With this, you can use lowercase, where this automatically puts the first letter of all of these words into the lowercase, or sentence case, which will just capitalize this first letter, or title case, which is the one that I recommend, 
which puts a capital letter at the start of each word. And then from there, you just press apply. And then now we can see baby earmuffs or a variation of the keywords that we've got in this ad group will always appear in that headline. Now to take this a little bit further, what we can even do because this is for an e-commerce product, we can actually type in the word buy beforehand. And then what that'll actually show is it'll show the word buy and then the keyword which has triggered your ad. So you can see from here, it says buy baby earmuffs for noise, buy baby earmuffs. And that is a great way that you can actually add the user intent. So what they're looking at doing with also adding in that keyword focus. And if you're not running e-commerce and you're running a service or in this other example, you're running a software, you could actually type in something like number one, that's gonna show up number one club fit software or number one fitness software. And this is a great way that you can add in some extra elements to make that dynamic keyword insertion work at a high level for your campaign. So while dynamic keyword insertion is a very, very simple tool to use, just by adding in that squiggly bracket or the brace, it is a heavily underused feature in Google Ads. And that means it is a great feature that you can start using in your Google Ads campaigns today so that you can increase your click-through ratios and outperform your competitors. But to help you with all of the other optimization steps that you need to be taking in your Google Ads account so that you can be increasing your click-through ratio and your other core metrics and performance indicators in Google Ads, I wanna help you with my Google Ads optimization checklist. Now this is a checklist that I've put together and that I still use today because it lets me know exactly what I need to be optimizing in my Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And if you don't have your copy yet, you can get your free copy today just by following the link in the description below. And finally, if you wanna learn more about how to write ad copy in Google Ads, which will not only help your click-through ratio, but it'll also help your conversion rates, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me on this Google Ads teaching video, and I look forward to seeing you on our next training video very soon.